One of our um, cheerleaders in particular always watched vid like YouTube videos of other cheerleaders and her mom said that it was something that she's always wanted to be involved in but didn't ever have the opportunity to be, so she was very excited. We provide opportunities for joy and that's really important to me. That makes all of the fighting and advocacy worth it. I'm very proud of our department because it is a group effort since we're such a small department. So I'm so proud that our other programmers and our athletic coordinator, everybody gets involved and helps us put on these programs. And I'm very proud of how far we've come in three years. Though we had to do a lot of planning and development of our policies, our procedures, lots of community input, what were people looking for, what types of programs and services. Then during the pandemic is when our launch was, so I was so nervous that we had put in so much work to get to that point and then not get to finally achieve what we set out to do, but we completely did. I do think that here at Parks and Rec, we are improving the culture of how people with disabilities can be served by our town and by our public employees. We have veterans that are uh, employees here, and so we're trying to connect them too. For our veterans programming, we've had multiple men tell us that they're so happy that we offered that because if we weren't offering our archery program, then they would just be sitting at home. So for our adaptive sports programs, Many of our participants, it's the first time that they're part of a sports team and they're always a little cautious, a little nervous at first and then it's really fun to watch them flourish and thrive during the program and then by the end of the program be so confident and so excited to come again and, and try out another sport or to sign up for the next season. For the 31st anniversary, our goal is just to continue pushing access to public spaces, access to public programming, and listen to the participants about what modifications they need because the people that we're serving know what's best for them and, and how to best be successful.